I'm here at the mobile home that we're setting up in our mobile home park and uh, I'm doing the uh, I'm getting prepared to um, to tile the floor and I've done some other flooring stuff and we don't have power to this um, home yet it's in process um, so we decided uh, we're gonna try a little um, a little solar power so that's what I'm going to be hooking up today. Show you what we got here. So I've been using the the generator there, um, but it's kind of a pain, you know, to start that every time you want to use it. Of course, I start it. I put it outside. Um, I think it's like a ten thousand watt generator, so it's plenty big. Um, but you know, it's just kind of a pain. So I, we picked up this battery and I already had the, uh, inverter and I already had the solar panel. Um, this is just going to be a temporary thing for this mobile home, but, um, we already needed to buy this battery anyway, because the battery we have for our, um, security cameras on our storage units is big enough for the summer, but in the winter time when we don't get um, a lot of sunlight, the battery runs dead, and that's not that's not good if you're trying to run solar or uh, security cameras. So we bought this battery. Let's 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 get it out of here. So you see what I'm talking about? Sure, this is. Uh, charge controller, really cheap one. Now this is a... A lithium-ion battery. 200 amp hours. Uh, let me get it out of here. So what we're doing here is um, we're going to hook, we're going to tie into this solar panel um, into those terminals right there. And then from the battery, we're going to, we're going to hook, hook that to, to there easy enough. And then the battery is going to. The, uh, the inverter is going to be directly hooked to the battery. And then what I may do is um, plug this in uh, to my uh, breaker panel. Um, I don't recommend you do that, but I'm just going to experiment with that. Let's get at it. So we're going up on the roof with this. So what I might do is just uh, silicone it down a little bit. Um, put some, I don't know if you can see under there, but there's a box. Just kind of put some silicone on that and then some silicone on the front there. And that might hold it down so the wind don't blow it off. I decided to take this wire off and just direct wire um, to the terminals. So I've got the solar panel up there and I put some silicone on the top and underneath where the electrical box is, I don't think you can see that, but I put some silicone on that box to stick it down and it's stuck pretty good. It's not gonna blow off. And then uh, I just direct wired it with that 14 gauge wire, which I think is plenty good enough for a hundred, this is a hundred and 130 watt panel. Um, and we have a 200 amp hour battery and I'm using a 
1500 watt um, inverter. 1500 continuous watts, 3000 uh, watts peak. So I'm just kind of curious what this is, what, what this is going to give me. What can I do with that much power? Um, so we'll see. So this is our meter base. It's been inspected. Um, you see me driving the grounding rods in here. So one there and one about somewhere in here. They're underground now. They've been inspected. Um, we just don't have, we don't have the conduit that's going to go from there underground and to the home, to the electrical box uh, that's on the other side. So that's hopefully coming soon. Uh, but in the meantime, we, uh, we're going to be using this solar panel. I just want to set the battery up off the, the ground. This is underneath the mobile home. Um, again, this is not a permanent thing. Uh, maybe a month or two is all we're going to be using this for. I really got, I realize this is not a, the most elegant um, thing to set it on, but uh, it's all I had. Oh, the, uh, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the, uh, the inverter like that, and maybe the, uh, I'll maybe screw the controller right there just so I can look under here and see what it's doing. So far I've got just the wire to the charge controller. I remembered uh, just as I was hooking up the solar panel that you're supposed to hook up the battery first to the charge controller. So next step is to hook up the solar panel. So from the factory, this battery, whatever, I don't know how you pronounce that, um, but from the factory delivered, it's got 13.2 uh, volts. So I guess that's probably fully charged. Okay guys, I got it all done. Um, batteries hooked from the charge controller. Well, from the charge controller to the battery, to the battery, from the battery to the inverter. And, um, and I'll show you what I'm gonna hook into the electrical panel like this. This is how I did it with the generator and it worked fine um, just for the 110 stuff. So let's see if, if we can get some power. I'll plug it in. Here I am at the electrical panel. I have the extension cord coming up through the conduit and into this breaker. So it's really only gonna work on this, this breaker and this breaker and this breaker. Um, unless I put another leg on here because they go, they, they, these ones are hooked to that to the other side. Anyway, we're going to click it on and see if we get any kind of power. Okay, we got lights. I don't have a light 
hooked up obviously, but I got the fan hooked up. The fan is running. So, I don't know, I was kind of hoping to run an air conditioning, small air conditioning for a hour to see how it drains the battery down. I'll let you guys know. So actually, the uh, I actually left this on for about two hours uh, just to see, you know, it's about time to go home. So uh, I just let it run. After an hour, I checked it, it's still still at 12.8 volts and now let's go check it now see where it is so right now we're at about 12.6 12.5 so we had the the air conditioner on for two hours and it was an overcast day and it didn't completely kill the battery i'm not sure how much longer it would have went one more test i want to do with you guys is um see if it'll run here we'll I'll show the light when I'm uh, when I'm running a 12 amp uh, saw, and this is after the battery's been discharged. I don't think that matters too much, but um, if you look at the light. So this old saw is a 12 amp saw. We'll see if it if it cuts this piece of wood. Let's see. plenty of power so the battery actually um, is better than I expected I did I didn't expect it to have any any juice left after an hour and it still it still went for two hours with that AC on um, so I'm happy we'll see okay I thought this was uh worth adding to the video i did some testing this is a day later when i installed the battery and the solar panel and uh i was running some tests uh i'm using the air conditioner and i tried to run this little uh this little uh, handheld tile saw at the same time as the air conditioner and it basically turned off the air conditioner and then it tried to start up again. I had to turn the air conditioner uh, back off and restart it. And then it started fine. Um, so what I did was I remembered when I used that inverter on my pickup truck. I, had, I used it with uh, big uh, battery cable type things. Um, because with the lower resistance... With the, with the more resistance of the, the lower voltage from 12 volts to, uh, you know, the, I, I got to thinking the, 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 the 12 gauge wire is fine, uh, for 110 volts, good up to 20 amps, but with 12 volts, you have more, res less voltage being the 12 volt battery you have more resistance so that 12 gauge wire isn't gonna uh, carry as much um, you're gonna get even you're gonna get voltage loss because of the resistance so what I did was I added another 12 gauge wire let me show you what I did uh, just a second but um, after I added that then I tried the small saw and the the air conditioner um, kept going didn't even change and then I tried that's uh, let's see 3.2 amps I tried this is this is 3.5 amps and then I tried uh, this drill which is 6.3 uh, amps and all worked fine with the air conditioner and the two the two wires feeding the uh, the inverter now 
that's about the limit probably. I Maybe I can use my eight amp um, tile saw at the same time, I'm not sure. I haven't tried that yet, but I tried this 11 amp saw and it kicked the, it kicked the, um, it did the exact same thing as uh, the little saw did with the one wire. But I think that's quite an improvement. You get quite a bit more, um, more power. Also, also I should say that uh, there's more resistance in uh, a, a solid copper wire like I'm using. Uh, I think that's probably why usually 12 volt stuff uses braided braided wire, because there's less resistance. Uh, but I'm just using what I had since this is a temporary thing. Um, but I'll go show you what I did. Uh, we actually we can run we can run some we can do some tests. I'll just jump right to the uh, the drill because I it's the highest it's the highest uh, amperage tool that I have right now. So. It's a six point uh, six point three amps half inch Chicago electric drill, and the air conditioner's running at high. Absolutely no change in the uh, in the AC, and I could even turn the light on and see if the light changes. Yeah. The light does dim a bit, but the air conditioner is still humming. Now, um, I'll show you what it does with the, if I can find the right cord, plug it in. Okay, this is 11 amp, uh, this is an old, I don't even know what kind of saw this is. Wizard, 11 amp, 12 amps. 12 amp saw. Okay, the, the AC is probably gonna kick off. Yeah, instantaneously. And then it tries to boot up again, so you gotta. Oh wait. No, it just started right back up. No, it was struggling to kick the compressor on. So. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, the compressor just, I guess the compressor just kicked off. So let me go under and show you what I did. Nothing fancy. So this is the only thing that I did is I, I twisted the tw two 12 gauge wires together and uh, just added one more one more 12 gauge to the to the battery. And that that gives us a lot more um fans kicked on on the inverter. Gives us a lot more um a lot more power like startup power. So I'm sure it's better for the for the inverter also. You probably didn't like those low voltage situations. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching everybody. Like, subscribe, comment.